What's up YouTube, it's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. This is going to be the top 10 most strange and unique looking aquatic animal. Uh, first one that we have here is the leafy sea dragon. Uh, the leafy sea dragon is a marine species. It's native to Australia. It is called the leafy sea dragon because it mimics leaf-like body structures which enab enables it to camouflage very well from potential predators. The next one that we have here is the weedy sea dragon. It's a different species of a seahorse. This seahorse is very sl uh, slow moving and heavily dependent on their camouflage to survive. They feed mainly on plankton and small crabs. The next fish that we have here is the golden scorpion fish. These fish are strange looking but popular in the fish keeping hobby. This is one of the few varieties of a scorpion fish. There are many different kinds. Uh, they are all venomous and they live in salt water. Many of them have camouflage to help them blend in with coral and other marine surroundings. These fish are bottom dwellers and they feed on small fish and crabs. Stonefish and lionfish are part of the scorpion fish family. These fish are found all over, but they can mainly be found in the Indo-Pacific region. Alright, so the next odd animal that we have here on the list is a diamondback stingray. You can find diamondback stingrays in the coastal waters of eastern Pacific Ocean from southern California to northern Chile and the Hawaiian Islands. This is a bottom dweller, loves to spend time on sandy or muddy flats near rocky reefs and kelp forests. This animal can grow up to 3.3 feet across. When hunting for food, these stingrays will often form large groups of up to hundreds of other stingrays. Small bony fish are a favorite for these stingrays. It's a big part of their diet. All right, so the next one that we have here on the list is the flathead catfish. This one's an odd one for sure. They can grow up to 61 inches and weigh as much as 123 pounds. Uh, these fish, they start spawning during the summertime in the month of June and July. All right, guys, so the next one that we have here on the list is an odd one for sure, for sure, for sure. This is the common nose black pleco, or often referred to as the sucker fish or janitor fish, because its ability to clean algae and to keep the tank clean. They are a type of catfish, and they mainly feed on algae and small insects and crabs. There are a lot of different variants of this fish, but this one is the most common in the hobby. They are truly unique looking and there is not too many fish out there that look like these guys. These fish are very alien like and the way they just sit still in one spot doing nothing but sucking on the surface is kind of weird. Uh, these fish are only popular for being in the aquarium trade. Um, it's not recommended to cook and eat these guys. They are not edible at all and a lot of people say they're not really tasty. So don't catch and cook these guys. <laughs> check out these creepy crawlies so this is called a fire eel although they call them fire eels they're not really eels it's not a true eel but a fish that looks like an eel these creatures are native to southeast asia and they're very popular with aquarists you can recognize the fire eel from its specific red stripes and spots on its body they love hiding and burrowing themselves in the mud floor or hiding in tubes they love to snack on small insects worms, crustaceans, smaller fish, and plant matter. Uh, they are a omnivore type fish. If you plan on keeping these fish, just know that you cannot keep these with other eels as they get aggressive with each other. It's highly suggested to keep them in their own separate tank or keep them in a community tank with similar size fish just to avoid putting it in with a too aggressive cichlid. Also, make sure to have a soft substrate as these fish love to spend most of their time underneath the substrate. They are nocturnal and they are very active at night. It is common for these fish to not eat in an aquarium the first few days or weeks. They need to get used to your feeding schedule. Also try not to overfeed. These fish are also very sensitive to medication so be careful when dosing. Alright, next fish that we have on the list is the clown ghost knife. This fish is very strange and alien-like, similar to the ghost knife fish, but this one is silver. It is native to Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. It is considered an invasive species. This fish is also referred to as the clown featherback. This fish can grow quite large, up to 11 pounds and 3 feet long. These fish are nocturnal and they prefer to feed during nighttime. They love eating live foods, pretty much anything that is small and will fit into its mouth, they will eat it. 
When they are young, they will school together and hang out near logs of plants for cover and security and safety. As they get older, they become loners and very territorial. They prefer temperature ranges from 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. These fish are also cooked and served for human consumption in Thailand and other southeast countries. Alright, next one that we got on the list is the Bursher. These are nocturnal feeders. They love to eat insects and crustaceans as well as a lot of these other fish. These fish are not aggressive. As long as their tank mates are not small enough to fit into their mouth, then you're good. You're fine and there shouldn't be an issue. Uh, these creatures can live up to 10 years. They can live for quite some time. Make sure to keep a tight lid on these guys as they will try to escape from the aquarium. They can also breathe outside of water for a short period of time. That is so cool. Alright, next fish that we have here on the list is the common guard. It's different than the alligator guard, but both are creepy looking. The common guard does not grow as big as the alligator guard. The alligator guard has been reported to grow up to 6 feet and weigh up to 100 pounds. The common guard is totally different than that one. They don't get near as big as the alligator guards. Alright guys, and the last animal that we have here on the list is the bamboo shrimp. These are freshwater shrimp and they love to dig through substrate and they're always on a prowl for food and scraps. They also molt to get bigger and they grow. They love climbing on wood and structures and they mainly feed on muck and algae and debris on the substrate. And that's pretty much how they live. Uh, they live uh, a regular normal shrimp life. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure to check out my other top 10 videos or my other top list videos. Check out the links in the description. You'll also see um, links to those videos in the annotation near the end of this video. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Master Aquatics and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye bye. Sorry.